Hello everyone, Foosankuden here, and welcome back to Let's Play Scold. So, we got to the point where we had to pick a save file, and then we're going to keep going. The facility has all but gone to hell. And, yeah, I think that this is going to be one of them revenge cases. So, let's go. Well, that boasts well. And the guards are all dead. That was pretty stupid. You will not stop me in my quest for vengeance! Apparently I became Russian. The situation is going out of control. The fire is spreading and more and more of the, pr of the prisoner sectors of the prison are in their control. Prepare for the shuttle. We're evacuating. That is impossible, sir. The shuttle has apparently detached from the anchor. Damn it! What about Earth? The communication systems are still interrupted, sir. Then turn off the damn AI. I'm coming for you. Are you afraid of death, Aaron? After this nightmare? No, not anymore. Hell cannot be worse. I've never thought about death. Waiting for me is neither heaven nor hell. I simply cease to exist. The thought of it scares me. But maybe it's also kind of justice. Also a kind of justice. I will be like a human being for once. The self-destruct mechanism has been activated. Five minutes remain until the station is destroyed. I'm sorry, Earl. Goodbye. You don't have to apologize. I would rather have done the same in your place. Goodbye. That's a little sad. I mean, his whole purpose was to torment prisoners. You! So we meet again, Williams. What? What are you doing? I'd love to put you in one of those machines, of one of these machines, but unfortunately I don't know how to operate them, and we don't have that, uh, have the time. You must turn off the self-destruct. There must be a way. I will make sure that you are parent, paradoned, or pardoned, excuse me, I feel stupid, and I'll give you money as much as you want. Money? What am I supposed to do with money? It's enough to take your life. End. That's it. It was a good game. The puzzles were a little bit linear, except for one or two that caught me up once or twice. The game itself is not about the puzzles being challenging, though. It's more about the game itself telling you a story. It, it, it creeped me out, honestly, at times. I mean, come on. Saw's Resort? Essentially? Saw's Vacation Home? I mean, the story itself has a little bit of Nightmare House Syndrome but kind of not, where the story seems to shoehorn itself pretty hard. But it's done in a way where you don't have to sit there and read text for 30 minutes. But, yeah, that being said... I mean... It was plenty intimidating. It wasn't scary in a I'm going to jump. Oh, thank you for playing. No, thank you for making this wonderful game. 
But yeah, I mean, it's worth you looking at. It's completely free, it's a short game. I mean, come on, how many episodes has it been? I mean, man, I was expecting something a little bit longer, but it wasn't that bad. I may have to look at other games made by this producer. I think one had something to do with the desert. I have a sneaking suspicion that there's a little more to this. I'm probably wrong, though. Just out of curiosity. Nope, no different. No way. I'll probably get this. I feel kind of stupid. I thought there'd be a little bit more to it. Uh, but, you know. It was a good game overall. I liked it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry this part was really, really freaking short, but uh, if you want a rating of any kind, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Just because it I could give it a 10 out of 10, but it just, I, I don't know, there's just something in it that's missing. It doesn't, you don't need an extremely long game to tell a story. But damn, I mean, ugh. I may look at this a little more in depth someday, but you know. I'd like to thank you all very, very much for watching. Please tune in next time for whatever game I let's play next. And, and yeah, if you have any RPG Maker games that you want to recommend, you can shoot me a PM, whatever. That really helps me out. But yeah, uh, I will see you all next time. Who's in Kemakudin? Signing off. Have a wonderful day.